Former UFL player Luke Hancock says the punishment doesn't fit the crime and he is fighting back. Good afternoon, I'm Rachel Platt. Hancock, one of several players from the 2013 championship team suing the NCAA to get that banner back, saying they did nothing wrong, but they have certainly paid the price. A news conference held earlier today, their attorneys calling the NCAA a bully organization. Our Heather Fountaine asking questions today, and I guess the big question, how many players are part of this suit? Rachel, at this point, I'm told there are five players altogether who have asked to be a part of this suit, Luke Hancock being one of them, Tim Henderson, Gorgie Zhang, Stephen Van Trees and Mike Mara, though only Luke Hancock could be there today. Now, this lawsuit isn't only about getting the banner back. It's about clearing the names of players who attorneys say did nothing but became blanketed under this sex scandal. The day is about us pushing back and getting back what was wrongfully taken from these players. Former UofL basketball player Luke Hancock and his attorneys from the nationwide law firm Morgan & Morgan say they're ready for battle against the NCAA, fighting for the 2013 championship banner and the honor of players who they say were portrayed in false light. The civil suit claims the NCAA implied that all players on the team engaged in the lewd behavior with strippers by not excluding Luke Hancock and others who say they had nothing to do with it. And it's been five years and I can't tell you two days where I've gone without having someone come up to me and ask me if I had strippers or prostitutes in the dorm. Um, I'm involved with the right things. I do the right things. Um, I didn't do anything wrong. The table full of Morgan & Morgan attorneys, a law firm with offices across the country, known to most people for their commercials, calling the NCAA a Goliath in the sports world and morally bankrupt, claiming the College Athletic Association had no authority to strip players of their wins and their awards and calling the NCAA rules phony. They're not a, they're not a criminal investigation body. We don't believe they even have the authority to do what they did. The lawsuit also asks for compensatory damages, though an amount is not listed. Morgan says the firm will only be paid if the plaintiffs win money. And we fight a lot of times when we just think it's right. I do believe we, we have him on a contingency fee contract, but if we don't get a penny, if all we get is this championship back for Louisville and the players and the city, and Luke's MVP back, that's going to be plenty pay for us. And the suit is asking for the NCAA to declare the players did not engage in striptease dances, prostitution, and tipping of strippers, and that they are, in fact, champions. I'm Heather Fountaine, WHAS 11 News.